I have the OLED version of the Steam Deck here. And today I'm going to show you how to check to see which company manufactures the display on your own Steam Deck. So when the OLED Steam Deck first released, I saw a post over on Reddit talking about how to find out if your new handheld console used a panel from Samsung or BOE. And at first, it seemed like this was only being passed around for curiosity's sake. But now that we've had a chance to look at these OEM parts, there are a couple of differences between the OLED panels Valve is sourcing from both of these companies. And I'm not going to go into the differences in this video, as I would rather focus on showing you how to see which company manufactures your panel. But if you would like to learn about them, then let me know down in the comments section below. So to start off, we're going to need to boot our Steam Deck over into desktop mode. And now we need to open up a terminal window. So we're going to do that by clicking on this button here to open up the application launcher. And you can find the console application which is what our terminal window is over in the system category right there. So we're going to go ahead and launch a console. Then from here, we're going to press on X to bring up the keyboard and we're going to type out this long command. And don't worry, I'll include both of these text commands down in the video description below. And when you're ready, we're going to press enter on the keyboard. So you should get a result that looks similar to this. You can see we have two sets of numbers and we're actually going to look in the right set of numbers at the top and look for the third number value. So you can see right here we have 59-96-03. So that 03 number tells you which panel you're currently using. If you see 01 there, then you have an LCD panel from BOE. A 02 is a display that is no longer present, so you are unlikely to see that. But if you have a 03 number value there, then you are using an OLED panel from Samsung. And if you have a 04 value there, then you are using an OLED panel from BOE. Now the other command I mentioned is XRANDR space dash dash verbose. We're going to pipe that out and grep just for MHZ. And again, I'll have this command down in the video description below so you can get a closer look at it and just copy and paste it if you want. We're going to press enter on the keyboard. And what you're seeing here about your display is its resolution and then how much bandwidth the panel itself is currently using for its 90 hertz mode. So if you see a megahertz of 133.200 or something very, very similar, then again, you are using a display panel from Samsung. If that megahertz number is closer to around 102 megahertz, then that means the panel is from BOE. And it's this second command where you'll begin to notice a difference between the two panels. The ones from Samsung have to work a bit harder to hit that 90 hertz refresh rate, which causes them to become unstable when they are overclocked. But if you have a Steam Deck display that was built by BOE, then it only needs to use around 102 megahertz of bandwidth to hit that 90 hertz. And that means it has the potential to be overclocked to 120 hertz. So as you can see in this video, the OLED Steam Deck that I upgraded to has a panel made by Samsung. So I can't test out that Steam Deck mod, 
but I would be happy to make a video about it if there is enough demand for it. So again, let me know down in the comments section below if you would like to see a video about how to install that 120 hertz mod for the Steam Deck OLED. I can't demonstrate the mod in action, but I can easily show you all of the steps involved in getting it set up on your own device.